Hi, I'm Barb Hanselman. This is Del Rose Farm in Bloomville, New York. We farm here with our three sons. It is a family farm. We milk 60 cows, and then we also have about 60 young stock. We farm about 500 acres. And then in addition, we probably have about 250 acres of pasture land for the animals on pasture. Our farm is on the Delaware River, which is part of the reservoir system that feeds the New York City watershed. That water is what hydrates New York City and provides all the water there. Our farm is part of the Watershed Ag Program that ensures that extra measures are made to ensure that the water is extremely safe and extremely clean for the residents of the city. There are so many things that we do that are very conservation-minded. We work very hard to do what's best for our environment what's best for our soils, for our cattle. On our farm, the manure from the milking herd is stored in a manure lagoon. That manure we utilize on crops when it's the optimum time, meaning that we spread manure not every day, but on our farms we do it when it's an optimum time for the nutrients to be used by the crops. So it's prior to planting, it's um, right after we take hay off so that when there's new regrowth, the manure nutrients can be utilized versus just sitting waiting for the crops to be grown. Our farm now uses no-till instead of conventional till. We use a drill that drills the seed into the ground without having to move the soils around. So it reduces compaction. It also makes it so that there's less risk of erosion. It also allows the tilth which is the health of the soil to be enhanced because the earthworms that work in there, their homes aren't being tilled up. And with that, it's healthier. You can see the difference in drainage, soil, fertility. It's just a very positive thing from that standpoint. We also are big believers in cover crops. After all the crops such as corn and soybeans are taken off the fields, we drill rye into the ground, which puts a cover on there so that it holds the soils intact. And then also the organic matter from the rye that was growing is there to help feed the next round of crops. In addition to no-till and cover crops, we also rotate crops in order to keep soils at the highest level of fertility and also being very conservation-minded. Different crops utilize different nutrients in the soil and they also provide to the soils different gifts when they're on them and so rotation helps to conserve the resources there. One thing that we do as being part of the Watershed Ag Program in addition to the cropping end is being thoughtful about how animals cross uh, waterways and keeping them out of the waterways. We have an old bridge that we utilize in order for our animals to get to the pasture. All of the practices that we utilize are to prevent that from happening so there isn't soil or manure that runs into the river. One thing that's really important to us as farmers is the support that we get from multiple sources. There's so many different aspects of being a dairy farmer that you need outside perspective, you need outside knowledges, and so we work closely with a whole realm of different uh, people that help us with that. Cornell Cooperative Extension is um, one that provides that for us. The Watershed Ag Program is another that provides that for us our veterinarians and our nutritionists. Having a team working together makes us all better because more sets of eyes helps uncover and see the good, but also where we can improve and makes us all better at what we hope we can be. You know, it, it enhances our potentials here. I really want people to understand that dairy farms are an important part of today's world to be able to feed people and nourish people properly and that we're important to the environment too. A farm's legacy is tomorrow. It isn't the moment. 
If we don't take care of our farm, meaning our land and our animals today, it won't be here for tomorrow. And that's the most important thing to us is that there's always dairy farms here to nourish people. A farmer's job is to feed people and we take it very seriously. Mm -hmm.